pleasure to welcome Congressman Ted Poe to the to the stage. Governor, thank you very much. Uh, thank you for leading the state to, to solve this scourge. As a, you are a good example for other governors in other states. And Mayor, thank you for your work. Uh, as you said, the city is a growing city. Unfortunately, trafficking is occurring here, but now we're going to use this uh, scourge as an opportunity to solve the problem. Thanks to your leadership. And of course, Clear Channel, uh, as has been said, we could not do this without the media's help to solve this tremendous problem. Uh, we have had uh, several hearings on this issue in Congress last year. We had a forum here in, in Houston, primarily uh, learned from victims about what's taking place. The traffickers in this country are so bold about selling people and children that they are branding the young women that they are, that are forced into this scourge. We brand cattle in Texas to identify them as property, and that is the way traffickers look at these children as property. Even one trafficker puts barcodes on the children that he traffics. They are arrogant and they are bold, but those days are going to end for traffickers. And I hope some of them are watching uh, this press conference today. It's a multifaceted problem and it has a multifaceted solution. And Governor, I submit to you that all these folks in this room are your new uh, Texas trafficking posse. <laughs> jailhouse and some other locations and working with state, local, federal, everybody is on the same page in the hymnal, singing the same song in tune about this scourge. I've met trafficking victims from Peru to Houston and all over. Children. <laughs> Lily, 10-year-old girl from Peru. She was sold for a cell phone. Trafficking victims. And they're coming this way because the money's here. The scourge he is here because the money is here. And so what are, what are we doing about it? Legislatively, uh, proud to say that two weeks ago, the House passed a piece of legislation that I sponsored and bipartisan with Carolyn Maloney from New York. Uh, she doesn't even speak the language we speak now. We <laughs> translate to talk to each other. And uh, but you should know this legislation, Justice for Victims of Trafficking Act, passed 409 to zero. And it does three things. It goes after that trafficker, the slave trader. Oh, yeah. They should be nervous. But it goes after also the other end, the children, the runaways, the throwaways, and the stowaways. Those children. And it changes the consciousness of really legislation that these are not child prostitutes. These are victims of crime. We shouldn't even use the word child prostitute because legally that cannot happen. A child cannot consent to sex, especially forced sex. So they are victims of crime and in giving resources to law enforcement and to shelters so that they can take care of these children. In this country, there are 5,000 animal shelters. And good, I have three Dalmatians. I got two of them from Dalmatian Rescue. They're the weapons of mass destruction. Uh, but there are 5,000 shelters for animals. There are about 300 beds for minor sex trafficking victims in this country. So we're going to work on that end, find places for the sheriff to take them rather than have to put them in jail for their safety. But the thing that's really going to, I think, help solve this slave trade are those folks in the middle, the customers, the consumers, the demand. The child abusers, because that's what they are. These folks are not Johns, they're child abusers. 
And unfortunately, there is a demand for that type of criminal conduct. Really the worst type of criminal conduct that a person can imagine is buying children. In those days of boys being boys, it's going to be over in this country. And we are all part of a puzzle. And when you put the puzzle together, it's on the billboard. It is the billboard of the photograph of a child rescuing that child. And we all fit in part of that puzzle to solve this tremendous scourge in our community. So thank you once again, uh, Clear Channel, Governor and Mayor, and all these elected officials, and especially the law that's behind me. <laughs>